and I'm here to do a haul for you when I went to Houston we stopped at a couple of quilt shops on the way down and then on the way back from Houston we stopped at Marshall's Dry Goods in Arkansas Batesville Arkansas if I'm not mistaken I'll make sure that I leave a link down in the description box Debbie the lady that traveled with me to Houston she knew of Marshall dry goods but had never been she ordered a couple of times online and so we decided we were going to stop in it actually was about an hour and a half off of our schedule but we decided to do it anyway since we were going to stay overnight somewhere anyway so we actually drove from Houston to Batesville and stayed the night in Batesville and then we attended the store the next day and then we had about a six hour ride to get home so what you're seeing here is two of the bags and I know you can't see them all so let me pan a little bit and in these bags I spent four hundred and twenty two dollars and some change most of their fabrics were three ninety nine to maybe six ninety nine at the most and so I think things just add up pretty quickly so I will also be checking my receipt but I have a feeling that it is completely correct also, when I saw Bonita Nance in Houston, she we told her that we might stop in there. And she gave me money to get her some fabric as well. So I will show you some things that I know that I got two yards of that I'm just going to put a yard aside for her. And then we are... And then I have a lot of other things that I have other plans for. But let me cut these zip ties on these bags and then we will get started okay. so I have all of my zip ties cut and so I'm just going to take some things out I know what's in these smaller bags and so we will start with these bags first So I'll start with the items that are not fabric related and I guess I should try to find my receipt so I can tell you exactly what this cost. <laughs> so here is my actual receipt. It shows I spent $422.44 and what they do is they just total up yardage for the same price and then they add them all up that way so first thing that I did get was two spools of thread I got a white spool and a natural and let me just take them out the bag and those are the colors these spools are huge I can't remember what the amount of yardage was that was included on here but again they were $21 a piece so I decided to get one of neutral and one of the white or natural and one white so yes I also have like a black spool of thread like this and this thread was pretty strong so that's why I went ahead and got it and it can most definitely be used for long arm machine quilting in this bag I have 30 fat quarters and these are definitely going to be gifts and these fat quarters were all one dollar each so we are already at seventy two dollars so I'll put this stack here we have a lot of neutrals this pattern is the same swirl as this here in white so they had this fabric in lots of different colors so I just got some various colors so let's see what the other colors are had some red and then this is a little darker in hue different shades 
and I think Marshall's Dry Goods, you can see their logo there. They have the owner who designs fabrics for their store. And so they have their own line of fabrics as well. And those fabrics are normally the fabrics that are $3.99 a yard. And so now I have some other prints. This is the same as the print before. I just bought multiples because I knew I wanted some for myself since I'm always buying neutrals. I don't know if you can see the patterns on these tone on tones. But they all have some kind of a pattern on them. And if you can't see them, I'm sorry about that. And then these last color prints here. So those are it for the fat quarters. Again, I had 30 of those. On this next bag, I bought four fabrics and bought two yards each and one yard of this will go to Benita and these were want to make sure $4.99 each so I got two yards of this one it's pretty and then the same sort of pattern but a little different I just love the color on this got it in blue the original pattern here is in blue so it's the same as this orange there and then also I got this stripe and I think I ended up adding another yard to this stripe because I got three so I could keep two I thought it would look really cool with as a coin quilt the uh, piece that's not the coins to be your sashing lines so I got that and then the remainder of what's in this bag <laughs> these fabrics here are the same print just different colorways and I got these to use on some scrap quilts and these were $3.99 a yard because these are Marshall dry goods own fabric designs and I found this pretty print here it's in black and grays and I just thought it was really pretty and it's not a Marshall's dry goods but they had it marked at $3.99 when it should have been $4.99 but they gave it to me for $3.99 anyway and so that is it for one bag. So I will get the other bag and we'll continue. Here is a stripe fabric. Very reasonably priced. It was either $3.99 or $4.99. I can't remember right now. I think it must be $3.99 because I had her put all the $4.99s in one bag. And those were the four prints that I had. So I got quite a bit of yardage, whatever they had left on this. Because I thought it would be cool with color quilts with coins as well i got a lot of scraps i need to use so i'm thinking in my head that i'm going to be making a lot of coin quilts this is just one yard of a patriotic print they had a lot of patriotic prints and i just purchased this one i bought this one for my brother who loves to ride his bike for my brother ray and so I thought at some point I will probably make him another quilt. I'm not sure when, but I would at least have some fabric that's themed for him since it was at a great price. This is a scrap and it's actually a scrap of backing fabric. So it's only about one eighth of a yard by 108 inches. So it's very long, but I just thought that the, Blue coloring was great that I could just add it in in my scraps or I can add it as a strip in a backing quilt. 
I could add it in as a strip on the back of a quilt. Sorry about that. This is another print. I think it's a Marshalls Dry Goods print. They have these in all colors. I just picked a neutral. I bought a couple of pieces that looked African themed. So these are like pillow panels and then you have like a border of some kind. I don't know what these were made for, but I just thought that they were really pretty. So here we have a zebra. <laughs> and then the other panel is here. And I thought that I would also give Bonita one of these as well. And then I purchased this piece of fabric. It was the only piece they had. I wish they had more of this. Um, it's called Snake Skin and it's Springs Creative Product Group. Purchased this one because it looked like wood. And sometimes I have a lot of fabrics to do different things with. I have a lot of nature prints, but then I don't have any wood prints. So that's why I got this print. Next stack, I just fell in love with this print here. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's really pretty. Okay, so uh, again, I think all of these were $3.99 a yard. This print here was really pretty. It has some gold in it that you can only see when I lift up away from the lights, but just gorgeous print. Here is a red print. This orange is the same print as that red, just a different color. Thought these were pretty. I think I have another piece of this fabric. Thought it would make a cute border. And so here is the other piece in the blue. I thought this would be great on scrap quilts as well. And then here is a piece of blue. And again, this is all Marshall Dry Goods designs. Here's a piece that I found on a clearance table. And I'm not sure what it cost. I think it was like $1.99 a yard. But it had just enough to give me six repeats so that I could use this in a stack and whack quilt. So I thought that would be interesting tone on tone colors coming together. And at some point, I'm going to do a video on all the fabrics that I have in my stack and wax stash. I'm just going to guess and say maybe I got 20 to 25 pieces of fabric. I'm not sure, but I thought that I would just share that with you at some point in the future. And then I purchased a piece of white. You know, I'm a sucker for backgrounds. And I got this piece here. It's really pretty. I had not seen that white print before. And then I also got a panel. Initially, I thought that maybe I would purchase it, uh, like purchase six panels, and then stack and whack the actual panel. We thought that we would try to do different thread painting with our long arms on panels. And so that's why she suggested that I just get one thing. And this cost... Maybe $5 a yard. I'm not sure right now. I think it was, let me see. Yes, this was actually $5.99 a yard. So I had to, it would have cost me quite a bit. It would have cost me $30 to do a stack and whack. And I didn't know if I wanted to invest in it because I wasn't really in love with the panel. But I thought it would be really pretty as thread paint. So I will take a separate picture of this so you can see the entire panel. And I'll just probably put it over me talking during this particular session. On the panel, it reads, From the breath of clouds emerge the great eagles, sowing effortlessly as they come to rest upon the sacred crest of the earth. Just very beautiful. Last thing that I intended to purchase was some actual backing pieces. 
and so they have backing pieces that are two different pricings they have the eight dollar backings that are on the bolt and then they will have some of the same type of backings that could be off the bolt they could be the end of the bolt and so they will put them on a flat fold table for $5.99 a yard so i got a couple of backing pieces this one is actually three yards and it was $5.99 a yard actually it was only two and three fourths yard that's all they had but i know that will be enough to do like a queen size quilt and it's by 108 inches wide now this one you had a few like questionable fabrics but i have purchased backings that were a little bit more crisper and solid and i don't know if it's the finish or if it's the paint on top but I decided to go ahead and buy this anyway. I'm hoping that when it washes that it's not as stiff as it is right now. It was $5.99 on the flat fold backing table. And I actually had six yards here. So I just purchased the six yards. I was originally going to just get three. And then I just told her to go ahead and just give me the whole six yards. So that is it for the Marshalls Dry Goods Haul. And I was actually had my bags. They had zip tied them together and I was on my way out the door. And then the actual owner came up. And the owners are really nice. One of the lady, the wife was actually in Houston. and But we didn't see her. But she had said she had just come back from Houston. And then the husband, his name is actually Marshall's Marshall. And that's the name of the actual store is Marshall's Dry Goods. So we start talking with him for a bit, and then he mentioned that they had batting. And so he said they had 30 yards of batting that was very similar to a name brand's 8020. And so we went to check it out, and it was pretty decent. It was a little bit more fluffier, and I kind of liked that about it, though. And so he said that you could get 30 yards of batting for $99. And so I decided to go ahead and buy that after I had already spent $422.44. <laughs> so, but I went ahead and bought it because I figured when was the next time I gonna, I'm going to be there. And I didn't necessarily want to pay shipping on a batting that I didn't know if I like or not. So since we were there, we actually went ahead and bought it. So that's wholesale pricing for buying the entire roll. So... I do have that and I'll just put a video over this clip where I'm talking about the batting as well because I don't have it in the house. And when I do use the batting, I will come back and give you a review follow-up on that batting. And that was um, another $108. So while we were waiting for them to ring up my wholesale order, I noticed even though this was at the front door, I, I did not look in the front sales bins. And they had bolts of fabric. This Halloween spider web fabric. It's a bolt. It has, let's see, how many yards? Let me read it for you. It has eight yards on this bolt. And it's originally $4.44 for the per yard. They had this on sale for $1 per yard, which means that you could get the entire boat for $8. So, as I was getting ready to check out and Marshalls, the owner, saw that we were going to go buy this, he ended up just giving me and Debbie one of these for free. So, that was really sweet of him to do that. He didn't have to do that. We were, of course, more than willing to pay for it. But it was just awesome that he was willing to give us something free for our time that we spent. And we also let them know that we were from the St. Louis area. So I am going to go ahead and take a couple of pictures so I can show you the entire stash. So that's it for this video. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you also click that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video or do a premiere or go live. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.